Call me that. <laughs> we end with that. Uh, wherever. We're doing a, a little pizza place tomorrow with the kids. Oh, so we got... Yeah, we're almost there. All right. So we had a, a little interruption, but actually it was cool. But give us some insight. Uh, yeah, to... we got a real musician's take on Echo in the Canyon. Okay. He was disappointed that they didn't me mention the Wrecking Crew, who helped out on so many of those albums. Yeah, on, on, the, on the Monkeys album, yeah, on yeah. that. Cause, yeah. But in defense of the filmmakers, and I always defend, because especially documentary, oh, yeah. you have tomes of footage, and you can't go in every direction. It's the same with a book. You have to, like, zero in. Yeah, you can't do every... Well, book, you have a little... You know, you have 350 pages sometimes, 400 yeah. pages. But trust me, doing research yes. that I've done, you can get in rabbit holes, and you're like, ooh, this looks interesting, and you can get off track. I'm sure it's the same with movies. Well, it's true, and I'm doing yeah. that right now in writing, and I'm trying to bring it... And, it, you know, you do that foreshadowing. Right. And they, and they do that in documentaries. So people think, it's oh, it's just based on it. They just follow it. There's still a story there. They're trying to tell a story. Right. So Echo in the Canyon, I think, tells the story of Laurel Canyon, this magical place yeah, where... Yeah, and he loved it. He lived there. He yeah. loved it still. Frank Zappa lived there at the same time as Boris Karloff and the same time as David Crosby. I love the Frank Zappa story, yeah. too, that they tell. That was cool. They tell so many little anecdotes. I just love those. Yeah, I'm and so it works. I'm a sucker for, like, little... Bits. It works. Like the suit story. Oh, that yeah. He's that, I mean, there's so many great... Yeah, it's you cool. you got to go see Echo in the Canyon. Echo in the Canyon, I think it's a, it's a nine. Bravo. All right. So anyway, I was listening to this podcast, Big Pictures. All right. These dudes are like high yeah. round draft picks. Yes. So they were talking about their best movies of the year so far. Okay. Some I've seen, some I haven't. Have you seen Under Silver Lake? No. Have you heard of it, though? No, I've heard it coming out. I've not seen it here. Okay. It hasn't been here, but it intrigues me. Transit was here, and I missed it. Transit was confusing. I think anytime you need a, um, a thesaurus <laughs> and a... Um, I'm not a big Ikea guy. That's a lot of story. If you need, like, a manual to a figure direction. out the plot point... Um, you know, I, I don't know. Okay, I, right, I'll right. give it another shot. I think it's a good movie. All right, they mentioned that. They mentioned my favorite souvenir, the souvenir. Souvenir, I didn't, I didn't just, no. I, I, and actually, did you know there's a souvenir, too, she's working on? <laughs> there's another souvenir. <laughs> I, I, sometimes you need to just remember the place for how it was. Anyway, okay, how about, uh, well, this was a Chinese movie, so I know our friend Harrison probably saw, but Long Day's Journey. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, I heard it's it's good. I have not seen it. All right, how it's about... Not, it's not been anywhere we could see it. No, that's right. We're sort of in a little... Yeah, we're, we're, in, we're in like a cocoon here. We're in a... Although we do get stuff. We're in a sunshine bubble. No, but 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 we do have we a, do, we our, do. Our, our... We have an art, a beautiful art house. We do. The, the fact that we're showing two classics yes. back to back this weekend. And those aren't even at the uh, at the Burns Court. No. They're at the uh, larger the venues. Office. Yeah. All right, how about well, Her Smell... Yeah, I did not see that either. Did you see it? No. It's got But the, it's, com it's coming. Yeah, it's going to be coming. And then High Life, which is coming for sure, because I've seen trailers at Burns. Well, we'll t make sure we see these and yeah, we'll yeah. talk about them. So that'll be interesting. But I thought, I thought some of the films that we've seen this year, I thought there's some really good films. I, I, um, I'm trying to think of... Uh, I love the, the Shakespeare again. I, I think, did too. I thought, I thought that was musical. Was I thought, it, speaking of musical, I thought it was it just. It was a great it, story. It was poetic. You know, it's like art. Yes. This is, you know, music is art, and Shakespeare was the ultimate art. And, and had I'm, both great story and art. Right? Yes. And it was all together. That's and you can pull it about. off. Sometimes yeah. you can, which is, you know, the great Van Gogh film with Willem Dafoe we like. We both like that. Right, right. Thank you, bro. Thank you. You got it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, John. All right. So we've got menus. We might as well end So we'll it see there. you guys at the uh, at Baker and Molasses, I yeah, guess, right? Baker and Molasses at the movies. Yes, yes. All right. We'll see you next time. All right. Good night.